The next one, uh, the next petition goes to Mr. Johns. Mr. Johns. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it's an honour to bring this petition forward on behalf of uh, people from Courtney, Alberni. They're concerned about the 12,000 deaths, the brothers and sisters and daughters and fathers and uh, family members that have died due to preventable overdose uh, from fentanyl poison sources. And this is timely, Mr. Speaker, as the community action team in Port Alberni identified that we've had 10 times as many deaths uh, from opioid poisoning since the COVID outbreak. And in fact, in April in British Columbia alone, we had 117 people die of overdose, Mr. Speaker. They're calling on the government to declare the current over opioid overdose and fentanyl poisoning crisis a national public health emergency under the Emergencies Act in order to manage and resource it with the aim to reduce and eliminate preventable deaths, to reform current drug policy to decriminalize personal possession. This is supported by BC Chief Medical Health Officer, Dr. Bonnie Henry. Third, to create with urgency and immediacy a system to provide safe and unadulterated access to substances so that people who use substances experimentally, recreationally, or chronically are not at imminent risk of overdose due to a contaminated source. Mr. Speaker, I'd also, also like to give a shout out to our Chief Medical Health Officer on Central Vancouver Island, Dr. Hasselbach, who's retiring, who's done great work in standing up for people that are suffering from opioid addiction and the most marginalized. Thank you.